Hey guys, good morning. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It's 7 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Okay, this video, I'm going to touch on a few different things. Uh, on AOC, uh, on Marjorie Taylor Greene, on David Hogg. I'm just going to touch on a few things. Uh, stick with me here because I got a few really cool, so interesting stories that you guys, I'm sure you guys haven't heard yet. So stick with me. All right, AOC, first of all. A lot of the GOP, the Trumpers, are trying to make her out to be a liar. We've all seen the video with uh, 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 AOC talking about how scared she was at her job. And uh, she heard noises. Somebody came in her office. Um, and she was terrified. All right. And then she mentions uh, sexual abuse before. I'm going to talk. That's something I'm going to talk to you guys about. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I've ever talked about this before. But... I am a survivor of, uh, after my dad died, um, I am a survivor of sexual abuse myself when I was about 10, 11 years old. That's something I've never said before. So, but anyway, uh, so they're trying to make this look as a, like a lie. Um, AOC's office is not is connected to the Capitol, but not in the Capitol building. AOC talks about banging and that somebody is somebody yelling out, where is she? And this frightened her, you know, and she, the story is that the guards were looking for to, to get her moved. And they were asking where she was trying to find AOC to get her to a safe place. She mistook this. And she said the guard looked hostile. To her, which I mean, I can understand. She's a small woman, and there's 10,000, 20,000 angry people outside calling for her head. I could understand her being scared there, and I, I can understand her. She, she, you know, in, in this relationship, she, she says the sexual assault. She says that people tell you to just get over it, and I actually had some. I have actually had people tell me to just get over it too, and uh, I, I can relate a lot to AOC. And that's all I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to, I'm going to come back to that in another video. All right. Now, Marjorie Taylor Greene. What I think we see here, stick with me here, I think we're seeing a future Donald Trump. I do. When you look back at 2000, look at all the, the publicity uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene is getting right now and how little Trump is getting. Look at how Trump first became popular back in 2015. With the theories that he talks about, like uh, the birther thing with Obama, you know, and he was talking about these wild theories and the people that support him see him as being an outsider and exposing these, these, these theories. Why they believe in these, these conspiracy theories, I don't know, but they see this as truth telling that, you know, that the, the status quo that the deep state is trying to keep secret. This is the way they interpret it to me. I mean, I could come on here and talk about conspiracy theories and say I believe in them, and I could get 20,000 views a day, 30, 40,000 views a day, but I don't, and I'm not going to go down that road. I'm not going to sell myself out just to get views. I think that's what Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene was doing, because <laughs> now she's turning around and saying just a year or two ago, the stuff she said, well, she doesn't believe it anymore. That she was just a soccer mom that got misled down the rabbit hole of conspiracy, conspiracy theories. This is what she just said Wednesday night, um, talking to Congress. So, you, you have to question when is she telling the truth? You know, when is she telling, what is, what is the truth to her? Like I said, I, I think you see a lot of similarities right now. The way she's being treated with her supporters and the public and everything, and I see such a mirror image to Trump back in 2014, 2015, before he got elected. I, I really believe that Marjorie Taylor Greene, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she actually ran for president. I know it's a maybe it's a crazy thing to say right now, but it wouldn't surprise me at all, or at least vice president. Um, I think it were, you know, this is a whole new era uh, I was afraid of this, but it's looking like it's going to be, this is what's going to happen. This is going to be a whole new era of a new Republican Party of extreme conspiracy theories. All right, moving on now. Uh, David Hogg. So you see these videos with Marjorie Taylor Greene chasing down, saying the most despicable things. 
to David Hogg. Um, and now she says she believes she believes those things were true. You know, she doesn't believe what she believed just two years ago. All of a sudden, she's had some kind of epiphany, and she realized she's being she was being misled. You know, she's a victim once again. She's a victim now. She's a victim of the conspiracy theory she believed in. How did I not see this coming? <laughs> All right, now talking about David Hogg, check it out. This is an amazing story. I got the links down below. I didn't. I wasn't sure if this was true at first. Just Thursday night, just last night, David Hogg announces that he's got the backing of an entrepreneur. I don't remember the entrepreneur's name, but it's in all the articles. I'm going to put about three, four links down below. He is, David Hogg is starting, he's still in college, so he's going to be uh, on the sidelines, but he's starting his own pillow company. A pillow fight. Yes, David Hogg versus Mike Lindell. A pillow fight. David Hogg is going to start manufacturing pillows. And uh, a lot of the, uh, the, the uh, profits will go to progressive causes. Um, you'll, see, you'll see in the, the uh, links I got down below. I, I didn't believe this story at first, but I think it's a fantastic story, man. I love David Hogg. He's a survivor. Uh, man, for a kid to go through this and then to have the guts to go out and talk about, even if, you know, you could, I, I believe in the Second Amendment. I've told you guys over and over again. I grew up with guns and all that, you know, and I believe in that. Um, this guy's, this kid's got a lot of guts. Uh, so he's starting uh, his own pillow company to give Mike Lindell some competition. Uh, what I think is to put the, the last nail in Lindell's coffin, in his pillow, in his Mike pillow coffin. But we'll see. So I, I'm going to put all the links down below. All right, I think that's covered uh, uh, most of the stories this morning. For now, I'll be back later with a more targeted video of one of these topics in about three or four hours. All right, you guys have a good Friday.